Thought I'd do a quick video and walk through of a construction trailer. I've got a lot of help from YouTube, from other folks. I have a similar setup in some things and different in others. So I thought I would shoot a quick little video to show everybody, maybe give some other people ideas. Um, it's a 2018 car mate, eight and a half wide, 16 foot long, six and a half foot tall inside. Uh, power generator box built in uh, so the trailer runs off of the generator uh, shore power as you can see on the side right there and it also will run off of the truck uh, the truck it'll just run interior lighting and exterior lighting uh, you can see some exterior lights here I have a 100 foot cord here to plug in for shore power. Never had an issue of not being able to reach a customer's home. As you can see, there is no ladder racks lettering on the sides. Uh, I remodel kitchens and bathrooms, and most of my jobs typically take four to six weeks. And the trailer stays on the job site the entire time, so I do not want anybody knowing what's inside of it if they're driving around. Um, I do keep it locked up, but, and there's an alarm system on it. Uh, barn doors in the back work a lot better for me. Some driveways are pretty small. You don't have time or room for a ramp. And also it rains like 90% of the time here. So it's nice to keep it just closed up in the back. I do have a ramp right there. Um, and I can put it down here along the bottom, or it's also nice I can put it at people's stairs for wheeling stuff in and out of job sites. And then you have lots of storage on barn doors when you have them. So there's all my ladders. You can see the rear lights. Those also work as reverse lights. So very nice when it's pitch black. You can see where you're going. And I'll give you a quick little look. Just one light on that side over there. It lights up really good at night though. Uh, built some cabinets down the side. Another one over here. A lot of DeWalt job boxes. You got zip wall poles down at the bottom there. DeWalt table. DeWalt stands. I have a expandable stage at the bottom down there, slid underneath. Goes from 8 foot to, I believe, 12 foot. Some 8 foot material storage there, 2x4s, wall shims, uh, keep extra pieces of trim, and obviously chop back and broom and plastic. Uh, that's the DeWalt 60 volt, I believe, table saw. And everything is kind of straight on plane here. It doesn't really look like it, but it is. So there's two chop saws set up inside. One's for trim, one's for rough cut. Uh, from the Makita one, there is 10 foot to the front wall. From the DeWalt, there's eight foot. So that gives you plenty of room to cut inside if you need, need to. Let me click on a light here. So there's lighting over here. And this is all mounted on a DeWalt stand that I kind of cut into pieces and mounted. And then I can take that those off. You know, they got the DeWalt rails there. And I have a DeWalt stand right there. So I can set that up on a job site. And like I said, four to six weeks I'm usually there, so set that stand up, put my wings out, and just set up shop inside. Down there is trowels for walls, uh, for mudding, do a little ton of drywall work. Behind that is an air sled for moving appliances. Uh, that is absolutely fabulous for not damaging customers' floors, a lot of hardwood floors. And ceramic, and you're moving appliances into other rooms for people. I have a IQ tile saw 
do a lot of tile work too. And all your little storage bins. A lot of a lot of guys are putting these in trailers. I do like it. It makes it nice to come and grab some tools. That light's killing that shot, but you guys get the gist. So the front of the trailer bins up top. Just keep drop cloths on the right side, odds and ends stuff on the left. Microwave, refrigerator, some drinks up above. Dollies, always use an appliance dollies, dollies for cabinets. There's a generator box on the inside. And that whole door does pull off. I can pull the generator forward to uh, put gas in it if I need to. Down in the corner, you can see I use Proven Industries locks. Uh, that's the tongue lock down there. And up here is your door puck locks. Had them for well, about three, four years now. They work great. No issues at all. Just some storage. When the truck is, or when the trailer is running off of the truck power, the 110 does not work. Uh, all interior lights work. But the 110 outlets work when it's connected to the generator or to shore power. And there's another strip up there for power. Keep a track up there for a track saw. In the middle is a motion sensor for the Dewalt alarm system. I have the alarm mounted down there. So that detects any vibrations, movements. Sends a text message to my phone. I can control it off of that. And then it also has a GPS tracker. I opted for the Dewalt storage boxes strictly for the fact that a lot of them are set up for specific jobs. I have ones that are for electrical, ones that are for plumbing. You can see caulking's in one. That's nice when it gets cold. I can just grab that whole entire bin, take it into a customer's house, and it stays in there. You don't have to worry about your freezing cock. <laughs> so... And other things are set up too, you know, there's knee pads, gloves in one, textured stuff for plaster work, towel stuff in a lot of them, Schluter stuff in a lot of them. Uh, this whole entire stack, well, except for the top two boxes, this all comes into a job site. Those are my screw guns and all your hand tools, hammers, all that stuff. Well, there's another bin there strictly for trim tools. So I have my Pazload nailers. And all your nails in there, your putties are in there, everything's in there. So like I said, they're, they're set up for specific parts of the job. So it's nice, you can just come out, grab a whole bin, go in, do that part of the job, and the next day you're done with that part, moving on to the next, you just take that bin, put it back in the trailer, grab another bin for the next part of the job. Oh, easy up, because... Like I said, it rains here all the time, so we keep that on hand. You use it quite often. Let's see if we can get... Got another DeWalt stack up here. Keep a lot of screws and fasteners and such in there. Some blades in there for some of the tools. Air compressor. I still have a few, few air tools left. Here's all your switches for your lighting. So right now this is for your exterior lights. Those are now off. This is your interior lights on shore power. Flip it this way and that's your interior lights on truck power. I don't know if there's anything else I can really tell you guys. Hopefully it'll give you guys some ideas. There's the old Porter cable drywall stander. Use the crap out of that thing. Uh, battery charging station. Back here, everything's on the Makita 18 volt, Makita 40 volt. And then I have the flex volt for DeWalt. Don't have many DeWalt things mostly. Everything's Makita. 
there's all more storage bins. So I appreciate all the help everybody's given on YouTube here. And uh, just thought I would pass some of my work on in case it can help anybody out. Another quick look through everything. If anybody has any questions about anything, I'm not going through all my bins and all my boxes. Everybody has their own tools. Get what's helpful for you. I mean, everybody's jobs are different too. Like I said, I'm kitchen and bath remodeling. Been in business for 22 years now. So, and these are what has worked for me. Always upgrading, always trying to get new stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll help where I can. Thanks a lot, guys.